we're back again. And we back, and we back, and we back. Oh, okay. That wasn't the song I was going to go with, but it's fine. So, before we start, Pam and I have a little celebration today, because today is our one-year friend anniversary, according to Facebook, which is actually accurate, because I think we became f- Facebook friends the about... The same day that yeah. we, like, yeah. decided to be friends. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's pretty exciting. Thought we should so share that with you. basically, and Jill are going to have a nice night later, probably get some ice cream, do some homework, watch some Netflix... Like so our, usual, on state. our usual activities, but yeah. like more special. Yeah. Because not every night do we have ice cream. True. So, treat yourself. On your one year anniversary. <laughs> so today, uh, we're going to start off with some sports. Like, I uh, usually give, um, oh, friends, oh, friends, oh, friends. Does I'm wrestling s- count as sports? Yes. Okay. I'm so excited because, because MLB season is back. I just want to point out, I hope someone, I someone, I someone point out that, that Jill's screech was actually so loud that I heard it from the headphones that are sitting across the table. I'm sorry. Because I don't wear the headphones. I'm sorry. I don't, okay. don't want to hurt anyone's eardrums. It's okay. I just, I'm like sports dumb. So like, unless it directly involves Gronk. Brady, Daddy Edelman. Oh my goodness! And like that's pretty much it because that's my trio, or something like big and cute and eventful and like oh my god happening. I pretty much don't know about it, and I only bring that up because not for nothing. But John Cena's proposal oh, was we so cute. About, we can talk about that afterwards. I gotta get my little so cute. My little. That's the only on. sports information I know for this week. <laughs> um. But yes, MLB season is back. I am thoroughly excited. My life has meaning to it again. And I, oh, I am a person again. I am whole. I, mm, I'm just... F- I just... Jill, this is definitely a sign. What? It's our one-year friend anniversary. MLB season started. Like, I don't... It's great. I'm seeing some spiritual connections here. It's a day for celebration. I wouldn't be Clearly. surprised if you got married on, like, opening day. I mean... Like, at the stadium. No, nah, I wouldn't do like that. Like, before it starts. Nah. I like, like one of the players, weddings. like, what's it called? What, what officiate the wedding? <laughs> no, I, I'd rather have a nice little, you know, usual, uh, what you call it? Wedding. Traditional? Yeah. Yeah, traditional wedding. Um... But yes, baseball season is back. I'm thoroughly excited because the Mets won. Ah! Want to know? Woo! Um, know who else won? John Cena. Okay, he's marrying his you best can wait. friend. You can wait a second because I'm not done yet. I just don't know sports. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that you try, though. I try. I, I read my it. beginner's guides when I have the time. <laughs> beginner's guides. That's how I started to learn football, the NFL Beginner's Guide. But it's, that's a real thing? Yeah, it's on their website. Dude, de- definitions, explanation of plays, examples. I was killing it this last football mm. season. I knew everything. I was on top of the games. I knew what was happening. It was a great moment for me. I'm impressed with their like work. But, uh, yeah, so, like, baseball's bad. I'm so excited. Because, you know, this... Great season ahead of us. You know, I have I have full faith, like I usually do. Full faith that we're going to do well. You know, the top three teams in NL East, which is my specialty, obviously, um, in my eyes will be the Nationals, the Mets, and the Braves. Is that what the Red Sox play in? No, they're the NL, um, I mean the AL East. Sorry, letters. That's the American League. We're in the National League. But you know how, like, they're, they're in the... Um, but aren't see. we national to America? It's two different leagues that are like or they need two a better name for that because that's a little much. Come on, the national no, it's league true. and the it's American true. league. It's true. You know, no, like, you know why they did because there was two different like um, baseball leagues. One that played with the designated hitter and the pitcher did not bat, and then that was the American league. That's why they have the DH now, whereas the National mm. League played where the pitcher batted and there was no DH. And then they Let's give it up for our pinch hitters. They um, they played in the the World Series, and that was like the merging of the two 
leaks. You know what? I just I say we just bring it back to a league of their own. That was a great movie. Give us our you. own baseball league. We're pretty good at it. Just saying. <laughs> well, actually, speaking of that too, just mm-hmm. saying. Transitioning into another topic that we did not even discuss, we were talking about that. My batting average is trash, but yo, <laughs> um, I'll catch some balls. Speaking of women playing baseball, um, Maria Davis, as we all know, has been um, one of the a well-known name in female sports because she was the first young female to play in the Little League World Series and pitch and be successful. Um, so, I love Borders. Not many people know who she is. I didn't even really know who she was until. About a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, um, or not maybe not a full week and a half, whatever. But recently, we'll leave it at that. Um, that she was one of the first women to play um, professionally, not in the major leagues, but she played in a lower division, and she was one of the first women to win a college game and win a professional game. So that it's yeah. we are really progressing. Let's hear it for the ladies making those moves, making the <laughs> plays. <laughs> I'm proud. So Speaking proud. of, honest question, how would you feel if the MLB ever decided to how would I, I don't want to say integrate, but like ooh, transition what? into co-ed team. Because yeah. you know, mm. cuz I feel like that's one of the few sports where it would be like not I don't want to say possible, because I'm sure it's possible for all sports, but the easiest to do, just because it's not so much of a, like, in-your-face kind of sport, you know? Like, it's not like one girl being tackled by the entire, like, Patriots offense, you know? Yeah. Like, baseball's very, like, minimal contact, so I feel like it would be a good transition sport to start off with. Yeah. How'd you feel about that? Like, not about, not just... The women having their own league, but the women getting to play in just the MLB. Yeah. Um, that's always a sticky topic because like, I'm, I'm all for, like, you know... Because, frankly, if any team wants to sign me, again, batting average is trash, but I'll catch those pop-ups. <laughs> um, I'm always for, like, the I equal... The money. Um, equal opportunity in sports because, I mean, it's one of those things, like, you can do it, but so can I. But I do think when it comes to sports, there is a stopping point. Whereas, like, baseball, maybe not as much, but, like, football or anything that has to do with, like, muscle mass, a woman generally does not have as no, much muscle. I know, but that's what so I'm it's saying. Like, like, how would you feel if baseball did it? Because it is... The, that, yeah, like, that's, it like, I'm not, I'm not sure because, like... Like, I feel like... I don't know. Like, I wouldn't mind co-ed baseball. Yeah, like, I wouldn't mind it either. I'd be concerned about co-ed football. Yeah. Just because that would literally, if you think about it, no matter what happens with co-ed football, somewhere there's going to be a riot. If the girls are too good and they're beating all the guys, the guys are rioting because the girls are too good and they're beating all the guys or they're saying really mean things about them being manly or vice versa. If the girls aren't good enough and they're getting, like, slaughtered, on the field, yeah, the boys are still gonna riot about how they don't belong there. So you know, yeah. what? actually, this all just ends up with boys complaining. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, when it comes to baseball, I think it, if a league or maybe not like the NFL MLB, but if there were to be a league of a sport or for sports that um, were co-ed, I feel like would baseball that. would be probably the best one. I mean, football or tennis, actually. I mean, baseball or tennis, I think, would be Well, isn't the tennis best. technically already co-ed? Don't but they don't tennis do... players play guy tennis players? I don't think so. What? I don't... I mean, I could be wrong, because I don't watch tennis, but... Who does? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um, but but I feel like baseball could be the a good transition. I just don't know if... Like, how I feel 100% about it. Um, I had a conversation with a friend recently when I heard about Isla Borders, and... I feel like to test it out, maybe what they should do is um, have, like, a small tournament. Like, you know how we have, like, the World Baseball Classic? That- Could you imagine getting that title? The first professional female MLB player. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. Not going to lie, that was a little bit of a like, dream of mine when I was little, but that was not going to happen. That would be such... I would love. I would live for that shirt. I would live for that shirt and that trophy. That would be. You know how like old people have that one story, that one yes, story that they yes. tell over and over. Their go-to. 
it'd be that. Like, it, it would be pretty awesome. Like, being able to see that would be pretty now cool. Now is your age. <laughs> I also said what they should do is, like, maybe to try it out during maybe the All-Star break or right before, like, during spring training, whatever. Um, maybe what they should do is have a co-ed, like, small tournament and do, like, let's say four games and make it very short just to, to see if people would would watch or not. I just say, depending on also, that. I feel like, personally, they should also do some type of, like, homage or something. Is that the right word? I think so, yes. Like some type of thingy, memorial thingy. For, cause isn't a league of their own like based on a true story? Like, cause yeah, wasn't that they, actually a thing? I feel like a league of their own happened during credit. World War Two, when a lot like, of I feel the like, I well, feel they, like they, they do get, get credit. They they have no, a whole I know second. they have the they're like I don't know if they have their own Hall of Fame or they're in the Hall of Fame. They have their own, their own section of the Hall of Fame. But like I feel like you know like, no, I don't want to say you celebrate like the anniversary of World War Two because that's not the right word. Yeah, but like, you know, there's always like a little something something. Well, they do do uh, different like events every once so often. I feel like they should be a. I mean, it's not as like celebrated or like, like recognized cute. when like, it first bring happened. Bring out all them old ladies. Bring out the they, no, they do from time to time on like the. Field. I don't think a lot of them are here anymore. Though. That's the, that's also the thing Stop. because when, that, at that, that time, I think about it. Well, because at, at that time they were in, they were our age at that time. Most of them, I think the youngest one was about our age, maybe a little bit younger. Stop. That makes me really sad. Yeah. Shout out to that movie though. It was Honestly, a great movie. Highly suggested. I want a costume. I want the uniform. Like I want a Rockland Peaches uniform. If I that there's just nothing wrong with this movie. Honestly, it's great. The cast, perfect. The lines, perfect. The costumes, perfect. Everything about it is perfect. What's her face? Whose name I always forget. But it's Donnie Hinton, or the the main character Donnie Hinton. Yeah, the one who plays Stuart Stuart Little's mom. Oh, friggin', she's Stuart's little's mom. Oh wait, that's right, she is. I only watched that movie like three times in my life. I never liked Stuart Little. Little Stuart Leonard. All right. Anyway, yeah, her. I think her name is Jean Davis. I have something no idea. like that, whatever. She's beautiful, like Jesus. Like Rosie O'Donnell's hilarious. I'm I want to say Tom Hanks and I know it's that's his yes, name. Yes, he is. But he like plays it's, the coach. Not, it's not sounding right to me right now, but like come on, there's no crying in baseball. What a line. It's it's a great like, line. Everything about Ev- that movie is just so good. Like it's honestly, it's one of my favorite movies of all times. The I watched she it like ten times. The ball. Ba- she catches the ball with no mitt on, guys. Like she shuts Rosie O'Donnell up catching that ball. I live for it. I live for it. While Pam's living, we're just gonna hit a small break, and we'll be back with some more. Uh, we'll talk more about the uh, John Cena Nikki Bella proposal. Cause that's gonna be great. They so cute. <laughs> so we'll be back shortly. Sit tight, get some snacks, get a drink of water, and we'll be back. Bring me some snacks. 